So we're gonna get into Marvel 2. I don't want to hear shit about my team. I don't care about top tier or whatever synergy. If I wanted to be good at this game, I'd play Magneto Storm Psylocke like everyone else. I, I like playing characters I enjoy and having fun, having a good time. And you're gonna see. When I was a kid, I played uh, Sakura because I liked her. I thought she was cute. Felicia. This was the first time I ever saw Felicia. I think this was the game where I found out what Dog Stalkers was. Uh, and I played Spider Man because I like Spider Man. And my team is pretty different now, Ready? as you'll see. I think, yeah, everyone's different, actually. At least the one I stick with whenever I play this game, in a, once in a blue moon, or whatever. You know, I'm gonna be real. My favorite Marvel vs. Capcom, even after playing one just now, personally, is Marvel 3. I, I enjoy Marvel 3 the most. Maybe because that's the one I put the most time in, I don't know. But that's definitely my favorite. So my team, Rogue, uh, I don't really remember what assists, because I don't really like any of her assists, to be honest. Yes, yeah, this one. Uh, we got Bonbon, Dreadstyle, then Psylocke. I think I picked the right colors, because Psylocke has the best assist, and he's awesome. Alright, let's hopefully get to this arcade mode. I will say, one of, definitely one of the best uh, character select themes ever. Oh, I didn't pick the right color for Rogue. Shit, my synergy's off. Oh, I forgot. The uh, assistant callouts are assigned to a button. Oh my god. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Oh my god, my button- the buttons are backwards. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just, okay, I was like, wait, something's wrong. Oh, I remember, hang on, I remember why. I remember why, cause, uh, that's a weird one. Cause this is when, uh, light punch, light kick. I think I remember, I said this like way back when I first booted this up, like the buttons were like mixed up when I fired up Marvel 2, so I changed them, that's why. I'm like, wait, why am I getting my combos and stuff? That's. Okay, um, I want my, wait, hang on, uh, give me a second, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Okay, this should be fine now. Let's see. Okay, yes, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Now we're cooking. Okay, now I can play the game.
Like I said, don't expect much from me. Oh, we got two. Oh, right. Play each game in the collection and play Marvel 2. I ain't no Justin Wong. Like, Justin Wong's in the stratosphere, I'm deep in the earth. So I'm starting to be super the whole time. That's what I'll do. Oh, that's a command grab. Wait, how do I do a. Uh... Okay, now I do a hyper combo. Do you hyper combo? Isn't it just the assists? It's like. Or any local sister. Oh, yeah, I wanna... oh, me, Thanos, and. Oh, yeah, I picked the wrong colors for everybody. That's why I picked the wrong colors for everybody, because my buttons were mixed up. Oh, I got a trophy for hitting her assist, I guess. Oh god. Jesus, Thanos. Calm down. Oh my god, Thanos, relax. <laughs> Jesus.
Oh, did I win? <laughs> oh yeah, that was not my plan was just like, alright, just chip him out so I can get the win or the life lead. Hell yeah. Man, Thanos was just rushing me down. I was not expecting that. Oh, what? This is pretty much the only reason I picked Tom Bomb, by the way. Alright, uh, yeah, that's point four or whatever. Oh my god, I'm getting real. It's still annoying. Oh my god. Time over. Oh. You win. Man, these guys seem. I mean, to me, they're going fast. In 14 minutes? Which stage is that? Four? Oh, yeah, jeez. Like, even though it's ending on time mode, it's, it feels like it's going faster. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I keep forgetting. There's no heavy punch. Or there is heavy punch. I forgot about this move, I just remembered it. Let's do. 
Oh my god, he grabbed me out the air. Combo, what the fuck? Did I do the wrong one? Man, if that worked, I would have won. Oh, yes. Don't you want a rematch? Okay, hopefully, I make the right call this time. That was my problem. I got this this time. Oh, it's a different team. Huh, I wonder why it keeps doing that. Why is it not the same team? It's not what I meant to do, but okay. Dude, I mean, the team has no synergy. But I found the true. I can't do any of that air combo shit. Yeah, Don't you want to rematch? Okay, I got this. Select your heroes. Select 
Uh, looks right. Wow, he jumped over it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I was supposed to go, but... Say, I still should have won that. Got <laughs> I can't land a combo for crap. <laughs> I mean, the Marvel 2 uh, computer just kind of blocks all the time, though. That's kind of one of the problems with the arcade mode. That's why I never really played this game, because it's like, I never had anyone to play this with, and the arcade mode computer just blocks. The higher the difficulty you go, the more they just block. What was his autograph at you? Cancel into a super. Like there, that would have been perfect.
Alright, I finally won. <laughs> Not based on time. Great. I mean, winning is winning, though. Yeah, I'm in first. Uh, okay, so I thought, I thought stage 7 was going to be the boss, but it's another one. Alright. So, 8 stages, technically. Oh wow, that caught me. Jesus. Oh, you got me. like time it, it must be one of those games where it's like a second isn't really a second I almost had a heart attack. that does not feel like a minute I mean I'm just having so much gosh dang fun all right this is Pyron or whoever the fuck <laughs> I don't remember I know there is a story to this game and, and Ruby Hearts like the main character but everything does like such a bad job of explaining what the story is abyss I knew there was a second phase. It's not over yet. That first phase was really easy, though. So I assume this is gonna kick my ass. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, dude. Can I can I get in? Okay, well that was the easiest uh, boss so far. Because <laughs> he actually didn't he didn't do that much damage. Oh, there's three phases. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I didn't know there was a third phase. I thought that was it. That's all I remember. Maybe that's all I can get past it. Oh no wait, I remember this guy. Say that was a little too easy. Oh, there's three phases, that's why he does so little damage. Okay, all right, we got this. Does this game have endings? I don't remember this game having endings. I, yeah, I don't remember this game having endings. I'm going to go away. He's hitting that thing with a heavy punch button. 
Like, I've been playing too much Street Fighter lately. Alright, I don't think I'm winning this one. I forget that this phase will release two, two of my girls at uh, better health. Alright, that second one's the hardest. He just he just zones you out. You like you, you basically need a character with projectiles or a beam super or something. Okay, I think I use Rogue for the first phase. Uh <clears throat> Trombon slash Psylocke for the second one, and then just whoever's left for the last one. This one's the bitch. You know, let me just do this. My god. We're in a pretty good spot. Oh my god. Oh my god, the bubbles! What is he, Thanos? We're in a good spot. Tron Bond will save the multiverse. That's not what I meant to do, but okay, we hit, so it's fine. It's like, it's really hard uh, for me to press the two buttons for some reason on a PlayStation controller. I feel like I was doing better in the other games. I'll deal with that. 
And because it's so fast paced, I get more stressed out. So wait, does this game have endings? Hey, complete each game in a collection. I did it. You, again, you can't see the controls. Yeah, it just ends, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, this shit is the story. These little <laughs> images here. Or something. And yeah, Ruby Heart is supposed to be the protagonist, but it's like... Oh, you? Programmer? Did you see that? You see that right there? You are a programmer. I didn't know you were. So yeah, I guess she takes it. She chucks the abyss into the ocean and saves the day. Cyclops and Ryu are like, yeah, man, it's great being virgins. There's Mero, Sansa, Shumagorath, and Amingo. Yeah, Amingo and Sansa, I think, were the only other two original characters. Like, uh, characters made exclusively for this game. <laughs> Jin and Juggernaut. Doom and Anacris. But, I mean, yeah, that's the Marvel Collection. Oh, don't show that to MJ, Pete. You got enough problems, don't be showing that to MJ. <laughs> all the captains, all of them, all four of them, right there. And then you got the three, the three uh, hentai guys right there. All three of them. Oh, and then the loners, the emo loners, look at those guys. They're cool. So they don't socialize. Oh, and then Magneto's like, oh. So, you, that Chuck and Fireballs thing, that make you a mutant? No, oh, then Cable, Cable's like, alright, I gotta go talk to this Deadpool guy. Don't think about it too much. He'll be in the next game. I won't. Just don't worry about it. But yeah, that's Marvel 2. And like I said, overall, my favorite Marvel vs. Capcom is still Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That game's just so much fun. To don't me, anyway. Give up. Again. again, probably because it's just the one I put so much time in. <clears throat> Play that game all the time on my brother's Xbox. It wasn't really even mine. But again, we did it. We got the high score in every game, I'm pretty sure. Without doing any kind of cheats. Oh, that just goes back, yeah. Arcade mode not as good as other games, but still a fun game. I guess that was my thing. I never played Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The arcade just kind of okay. There's not even ending, so there's no real reason to beat the game with every character. Oh yeah, there's like an achievement in this game for beating the game with every character. How does that... Does it count each individual character, or is it your team? I hope it's your team, otherwise this would take forever. This one would take forever. This other one probably wouldn't take that long. Maybe a couple hours at most. This one, jeepus. But yeah, that's why I never really played it that much, because it's just like, it's the most fun played with other people. And I never had anyone to play it with. Uh, but definitely I'd say out of all the games, the Punisher was pretty fun for a beat -em up Uh, this one... Kind of jank, not really that into it. Um, this one was fine. I still remember Marvel. It's just Marvel Super Hero. Oh, no, wait. I'm slowly remembering. Yeah, this one was fine. It was just a better playing this. <laughs> this one was really fun. I don't know what it was, but I think it's just like the start of the attack system and all the crazy shit you can do. And I know this is... I do know now this is the game with all the crazy infinites. Basically, every, almost every character has an infinite in this game. Uh, this one was okay. I still wish, like, Sakura was better. That's really my thing. If the character I want to play is not that good, I'm probably not going to play the fighting game. No matter how good the mechanics and everything is, if, like, the characters or char character or characters I want to main, I don't find fun, uh, then I'm just not going to play it. And I like Sakura the most, and she's not that great, so... Fun game, just not something I want to play. This game was super fun. I kind of, I kind of like this better than this, I'm going to be honest. I like Marvel 1 better than Marvel 2. I'd say, for Marvel vs. Capcom specifically... Okay, here's my tier list. Uh, bottom is Coda, definitely, then the Punisher, <laughs> then Marvel Super Heroes, then uh, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, then X-Men vs. Street Fighter, then Marvel 2, then Marvel vs. Capcom, no, I, yeah, then Marvel 2, then Marvel vs. Capcom 1, then Marvel vs. Capcom 3, that's my tier list of Marvel vs. Capcom games, all of them. Did I put the Punisher? I think I put the Punisher over this, yeah. Alright, anyways, let's end this off by looking at uh, some Marvel 2 uh, stuff. How many are here? 192. Alright, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> so this is a main key art. Is this a cover for something? I don't know. There's Cable. Uh, I guess one of going to be character illustrations. Cap. Uh, loser. <laughs> cool guy. Uh, cool guy before Adamantium. Oh yeah, I think like the story was like... Wow, why is, why is, why is uh, regular Wolverine's head so much bigger than Boneclaw Wolverine? Boneclaw Wolverine actually looks proportional. He's got way too big a head, this Wolverine. I, mean, I think the story was like, uh, Capcom was just like, 
put two Wolverines in. And no, Marvel was like that. Marvel was like, put two Wolverines in. Capcom was like, why? And they were just like, put two Wolverines in. And that's why we have two Wolverines. Whatever. Uh, Spidey, Hulk, Girl, Rogue. She's so fun. I think it's probably, again, that's probably why I think I like X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Because Rogue's fun in that game. I don't know if she's good. I don't care. She was just fun to play. Uh, Gambit. Uh, Iron Man, Black Iron Man, Psylocke, also my woman. Uh, Sabretooth, Storm. Storm, the, the meta-defining character in this game. She's, like, the character, I think, like, you can just win. Like, you just have to, like, go jump up in the air, spam that one move, one or two moves, and then do that super, that Hailstorm super, and you'll win most of the time. Colossus, Colossus got some stubby forearms. Iceman. Uh, I like how, like, they either draw the characters, like, super stubby, or, like, super, like, skinny, agile, muscular. Mero was actually pretty fun in this game. I don't, I don't think, I think this was the first time <laughs> I learned who she was, too, in this. I was like, who the fuck is Mero? Uh, Venom, Blackheart, Omega Red, Tentacle Hentai, Robot Hentai. Oh, yeah, uh, fucking, what is her name? She, we haven't seen her since Coda, right? She hasn't appeared. Maybe she was an assistant Marvel superheroes and um, Marvel vs. Capcom One. I mean, maybe uh, Juggernaut, other top tier, other top tier, uh, Bubble Man should be <laughs> character that should be treated way better by both uh, fans and Capcom. Because just look at her design; it looks cool. She looks sick. I like I like badass female pirates. I don't know what that is. There's a thing like uh, I've never played League of Legends, but that one girl, Miss Fortune. <sighs> oh God. <sighs> I need to take a cold shower every time I see her. Then we got Amingo, the real hero, and Sansan, three three original characters. Okay. Then we got Capcom, we got Ryu, Ken. It's always weird that they use the alpha versions, and then like, but it's like it's the alpha sprite of Chun Li, but it's like because you know it's her regular costume, it doesn't feel like it. But then it's like you got young Ryu and Ken in both of these until Marvel Three when they actually use pretty Marvel Odyssey. Dul I forget Dulcim's in this game. <laughs> Every time. He just doesn't seem like a good person. Because, like, his whole game plan is to slow the thing down and, like, you know, use a stretchy limb. But I feel like in these fast-paced versus games, it's not really that good. Uh, Zangief, Giles, Nash. Don't know why you would have both of them. Have one or the other. Uh, Dan, Sakura. Sakura in Marvel 2 is, like, fine, I think. I think the most interesting thing about her is that she has, like, a, she has, like a, an install super that makes her a dark Sakura, and then she can Raging Demon. That's the coolest thing about her. Otherwise, like, she's okay. She's not my favorite. Like, again, she's not my favorite to play. She's my favorite to play in, obviously, the Street Fighter games. Like, Alpha and stuff in 4. She was fun in 5, too. Uh, Kami and Bipson. Akuma, Megan Man, the greatest character. My girl, Tronbon. Love her. Oh, this picture of her, too. Like, look at her. And look at the surf bots. Like, this, this whole picture just exudes personality. Like, look at this. It's great. This is one of my favorite pictures. This is one of the reasons I wanted to pick her up, honestly, because I'm just like, damn. Uh, she just looks cool. Or, like, she just looks like she's got, like, so much, you know, personality. And also her animations, too. I played her in Marvel 3. She's, uh, alright. I just don't think she's as fun as she is in Marvel 2. If you're curious, my team in Marvel 3 is, uh... I forget what order it is, but I think it's, like, X-23, Chun-Li, and Phoenix. Uh, I love that. Or Jean Grey, as I put, the co I put her in that costume. I like Jean Grey. Uh, then we got Servbot, Hayato, Jill. Jill's also pretty fun in this game. Very simple. Like, I, I, I debated between Jill and, uh, Rogue. I just like Rogue more. But I think Jill is more practical. Uh, Morgan? I don't know what Morgan's like in this game. Damn, they drew her super skinny in this one, too. She looks like a one- She looks like a One Piece woman. <laughs> with, like, the- How her body is, anyway. Her chin is huge. Jeez. Felicia? Felicia's also fun in this game. She's also a character that I think is, like, probably more practical to pick for me. Besides Rogue. Because uh, I kind of know how to combo into her stuff, especially on the ground, I don't have to do air combos. Uh, she's fun. She's, I think she's more fun in Marvel 3, from what I remember, anyway. I think I played her a little bit of that. BB Hood's a fun pick. I like that. I like that they put more characters than just Morgan. So, Darkstalkers Girls. I wish QB would show up. Because I think in, uh, what's her name? Shenko? In uh, Marvel 3, she's in that, which is cool. Again, good. Not that they're not just picking Morgan and Felicia's in it. Uh, but I don't think QB's ever really been in one. I need to represent my girl while that junk in her trunk. Macris, Strider, uh, Jin, Captain Commando, Cable, Cable, I, from what I know, Cable is, like, 
that basic bitch character. He's that character you just put in any team. Not like Storm where it makes any team top tier. Cable's just like a solid pick where it's like, if you want a simple, easy character, just pick Cable. He's got like that huge beam super, he just fires projectiles and stuff like that. Like he just, he's just the character that embodies what you do in Marvel 2 meta, I think. He's got no ass though, like look at that thing, it's so flat. What's with the sun here? I guess they like, there's like old scans that I guess they just didn't have anymore. You couldn't like date them. I guess so, there's like sunlight. Uh, so these are like the versus screen things. Hmm. Yeah, it's like the, I guess you don't see them that well when you're doing that. Why does Solik have that scar? He always had that? I feel like I've never really seen that. Uh, Saber Tooth Storm, Colossus, all job. Silver Samurai. Did we steal Silver Samurai? Did I skip over him? I don't think I saw his art back then. Well, unless I skipped over him. <laughs> Jesus, Sentinel just takes up the whole thing. Uh, look at all these users. Like, look at her, man. Look at this picture. She looks so cool. Uh, I don't really think she's that fun to play in this game, though. Like, her super thing, her fireball thing is pretty fun, but the rest of it's just kind of like, eh. I don't know. Something about it's just like her big anchor and stuff, where it's like, I get it, she's a pirate. I don't know. Not really interested in me. Uh, <laughs> you got your boy giving you the thumbs up. And San San. Sorry, Goku. Uh, Ryu, Ken, Chun, Pulsim, Zengi. Face not that weird here. Not as legit as the other ones. Guile, Worst Guile, Dan, uh, Sakura, my wife, my other wife, husband, my other husband, Megan Man, Roll. Oh, that's cute. Though the roll pictures have all been pretty cute so far. Uh, Trombon, Ready to Rumble, Servbot, also a pretty cute drawing. Look <laughs> at this guy, look at Lightsaber guy here. I never played these games, the Plasma Sword games. I guess I will when the other, the next Marvel. Uh, not Marvel. Next uh, Capcom collection comes out. Which I'm so fucking excited about because CBS2 is one of my favorite games of all time. I've never really played Project Justice or uh, Plasma Sword is what it's called. And Power Stone. Oh my, oh my god. That's going to be so much fun. That's a cool, Jill. I like how they put Jill in these games. She's in Marvel 3, too. Uh, I'm trying to remember how she plays. She's like uh, the Resident Evil 5 Jill, which is a weird pick. Uh, I think her alternate has like a Resident Evil 3 costume. I'm trying to remember how she plays. She plays kind of interesting. Kind of weird. Uh, oh, Morgan's like, yeah, give it to me. Of course she would be. And Felicia, of course. Love her. BB Hood. Again, why they put these two in? <clears throat> we got Anacris. Anacris is an interesting pick for the male uh, Dark Suckers pick. He's from Dark Suckers, I'm pretty sure. I never really played Dark, Dark Suckers. Um, never played that last Marvel collection, which was the Dark Suckers collection, pretty much. Uh, he's like, you, I want you. Again, really stubby arms. Maybe, I guess, just to, like, fit on the screen, I guess. So I shouldn't be judging too hard. <laughs> Jen's like, yeah! Damn, his crotch is... He's got, like, a really small torso. Uh, Captain Commando is pretty cool. This video was pretty fun. The first time I played it was in uh, Street Fighter VI, when it was on that, like, arcade machine. Pretty fun. Man, they... Skinny-ass legs. I guess you probably don't see that part. Oh, uh, this is, like, a rough draft of, the. Uh... I assume the poster for it. Like, interesting Sansan's front and center. Like, Ruby Heart's supposed to be the main character, see what I mean? Like, I don't really <laughs> make it obvious, this story. Ooh, coming soon. Viva, three on three team battle. So get the uh, something or other. Oh, they're just showing a few characters. And they're like, look at these jobbers, look at these new people. Look at all them. Three on three, look at all that. Oh yeah, I never got to do a hyper combo in this. Or a super hype, whatever it's called, when you use all your people. Jeez, look at all that. I don't even think that's all of them. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that's all of them. I think all the extras. Oh, like, my team's, like, right there. These all the... Oh, I was about to say, are these all, are these all the waifus? And then I Im you immediately see Omega Red there. And so far, it's just all the women, isn't it? Then Omega Red, War Machine, uh... Who the heck is that? Oh, that's Silver Samurai. I could not really tell. And then you got Wolverine. Adamantium Wolverine, specifically. And Iron Man. Then all the rest. That's cool. Is that like a little thing from a magazine? Uh, we got more art. Some intro. Little sketches. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Look at it. Look, this is 
This is what you try to draw, right? This is what we all try to draw. Look at that. This is what we actually draw. <laughs> this is what we actually do. Whenever anyone tries to draw anything ever. Like, you go for this, but you get this. Oh, amazing. <laughs> just look at that. Wow, look at I just noticed that. They're counting the dots. I assume that's, like, for the screen. It's pretty cool for, like, pixels and stuff. I kind of like this sketch more, I'm gonna be honest, like the water effects of it, compared to this. <laughs> Look at Chibi, Ryu, and, and Cyclops. Damn, Cy Cyclops got some yak here. Damn, look at that. Good for you, Gene. We got Mero, Sansan. That's cute. Let me go give him Rogue a flower. Oh, I don't remember seeing that one. Was that at the end? I don't remember seeing that. Probably when I was talking. That's cool. Servbot's playing with Zangief and Iceman. <laughs> Doom and Anacris. Yeah, once again... Uh, oh, it was even worse than this one. She had his hand on his shoulder. She had her hand on his shoulder. Oh, God, yeah. Peter's gonna be in the doghouse. We show that to MJ. Don't do it, man. It's not like a Jill talking. That's pretty cool. And Guile and Captain America. Oh, wait, yeah. It was different. Because it wasn't a... Uh, we saw Gambit and... Uh, Gambit and... Um, who else? Uh, Captain Commando, right? Yeah, this this was different. There were different things. Huh, is it different depending on who you beat the game with? Or how fast or something? Huh, maybe we just get different ones. Yeah, because we didn't see Psylocke talk with Jill. It was depending on what character you... No, yeah, because we didn't see... We didn't see this, because maybe we picked Tronbon. Maybe it's because of the characters you picked. And we didn't see Psylocke there, so we picked Psylocke. Did we see Rogue with a Mingo? Maybe we saw someone else. Yeah, you know, those guys, these jobbers. <laughs> I like the like little chibi placements. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is different. Yeah, we saw Shumagorath. Yeah, that's the one we saw. So it is dependent on what character you pick. Huh, interesting. And this is the one, so if you pick Tronbon, this one you pick Psylocke. And Juggernaut. Oh, okay, so if you pick Morgan, see, that's more tolerable. She's a kid. MJ wouldn't have a problem with that. So you get Sakura and Spidey pick Morgan. That's interesting. There's different illustrations depending on what characters you pick. I wonder why your characters don't show up in the ending. Do they die? Is that why? Oh, there's a little intro. Uh, the fourth versus installment. A fourth? Oh, yeah. Because uh, I guess you start from X-Men versus Street Fighter. Wow, they even illustrated the text and everything. That's interesting. Oh, uh, little chibi guys. More intro stuff, more intro stuff. If I could read Japanese, this would be more interesting. Game features. New characters. Three on three team battle. Delayed hyper combo. Assist type select. Variable. Attack counter combination. Aerial rave. Hyper combo. Man, that's a lot of new features. Oh, there's even advancing guard, special move, and super jump. So many new features. Oh, then here's the versus screen. That's cool. Oh, there's Abyss. I assume he's the brand new boss of this game. I don't think he's from anything. If he is, if he's from Marvel, then I don't know. I guess that's my Marvel knowledge not working. If he's from Capcom, I don't know. Uh, here's documenting how Magneto has his triangle jump and becomes the best character in the game and how Rollback literally cannot keep up with him because he's so fast. That's what this design document says. Uh, and then, of course, Doom's finger lasers being a great zoning tool. Great. Love it while fighting against it. It's great. Jeez, they really put a lot into Doom. Interesting. Oh, there's Thanos doing the splits. Man, he's a... Damn, damn he's flexible. Can't believe Death doesn't want that. He doesn't want to get, she doesn't want to get in that bussy. Uh, some cable stuff. Alright, I don't want to speed through this just because I'm, I'm getting tired. Uh, I've been up a long time. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. Oh, we got Sansan's -San moves. Oh yeah, I also played Sansan's arcade game in Street Fighter 6. That was included in that. It was okay. Uh, then we got Jill's moves. Look at that. She's a member of Stars. And we got Ruby Heart. Yeah, the stuff with the anchor. I'm just like, I don't know what it is. It's just like the anchor, I'm just like, alright. 
I don't know. She looks so cool, but then you get cartoony stuff like that. Where I feel like that would be better fit to like, like Son Son makes sense with all that stuff she can do. Then Ruby Heart, I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I feel like the big anger is a little much. Hey, a girl. Come on, look at that. Just look at the little animation thing ever, man. It's great. You can tell Capcom loves Mega Man Legends. They definitely love it so much, and they definitely want to keep it going forever. It's great. Oh, it's so her brother and this guy. Oh, they're like, uh... Wow, they look... Look at this. I love this little design design. Man. They're like, what about us? I think that's what they're saying. Yeah, they're saying, uh... Ore Tachi uh, Yeah. Like, what about us? And then we got serve bots and everything. That's cool. I like that. Look at this. A drill. A gun. The rock. Projectile. Flamethrower. I forgot. Yeah, she's got so many, like, command levels, man. It's crazy. She's got so many different moves. Then we got Servbot. Wow, that, that little Servbot is creepy. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it's the soulless eyes. More Ruby Heart stuff. Oh, yeah, her super is like she, she puts swords in a barrel, like that game. Kind of funny. A Mingo. It's like I'm planting seeds in you, bitch. Take my seed. And all those moves. It is cool. I like how they do all that. What the hell is this? Something versus? Is this, is this documenting the story and creation of it? That's insane if it is. So we got. Who the fuck is that? I assume that's Sansan, an early version of Ruby Heart. Who's Al Capone here? What the fuck is that? Why does he look like an American cartoon? What the shit? But like these guys, I recognize. They're all just taking from another game. Look, who the fuck? What the hell? Dude, that's a sick sketch. Look at her. She's just so look. She looks so cool. But everything else about her, I'm just not into. Uh, Lady Sansan. Uh, oh, that's a super long time. Oh, really, a Mingo? Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Wow, this one looks like a looks like a character you see in a shonen manga, like just some random one-off character. Uh, oh, this is Abyss, and he's getting awfully blasted. Then we got Ruby Heart Ship, Cool Sage. I think my favorite stage is probably the Clock Tower, like the Circus, the Cave. Yeah, this stage is cool. Oh, they got little Ito and Jill sprites there. Oh yeah, I forget there's a this one. Yeah, definitely clock towers up here. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, that's the that's the factory one. Yeah. Uh, lost each, and that's it. All right, yeah. So there it is. That's uh our Scapcom collection. I'm probably not gonna stream myself playing this online <laughs> because you don't want to just watch me get destroyed for like two hours or whatever. Oh, they always see that. <laughs> but yeah, I think all these collections is. Well, I'm playing this on Steam, and I know they've been having issues online with Steam, but I definitely want to play Marvel 2, because I can finally play with people, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, and X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Those are probably the things I'm going to I don't want to do, like, all of them. I'm not trying to learn all of them, especially this one, and that one's just, like, in. But definitely X-Men and the two Marvels. Oh, yeah, I guess it's going to be the fourth installment. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to learn those things on each side. Maybe I'll learn some combos, things like that, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna go because I'm pretty tired. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait for the. Gonna be real. You're gonna see a lot more of the next Marvel vs. Capcom collection. I'm definitely gonna stream myself playing that. Because it's got a. Uh, fuck, let me try to remember. We got Capcom vs. SNK 1, uh, CBS 2 with the EO stuff, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper, which I don't know much about, but apparently it's like a different version of the arcade. I'm not too familiar with that. Oh yeah, Capcom Fighting Jams in it, which is funny. I guess they had to stick it. And then we got Project Justice. Uh, Plasma Sword, and then both Power Stones. Eight games compared to the seven here, which is crazy. So even more. Uh, can't wait for that. That's going to be super fun. Definitely going to be playing CBS2 all the fucking time. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Love it. And definitely the Power Stone games. Don't know about the other ones, but those three, definitely. I'm interested to see Project Justice. I haven't really played that that much. So maybe it'll be fun going through arcade modes of those. So that's probably the next time you're going to see the Marvel... Well, not Marvel Collection. A Capcom Collection of me doing one of these. Uh, once that game comes out, whenever we just got 2025, I assume uh, three. This game came out. Probably we'll get it. Uh, I'm gonna say summer. I'll, I'll say around the summertime. That seems appropriate. If not, then probably a year from now when this game comes out. So probably like around the holidays next season. 
Uh, although it looked, since they figured out the games and announced it, I assume probably soon. So maybe spring, maybe summer, who knows. Uh, either way, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Pick up this game, it's fun. Well, if you're interested in playing uh, maybe, I guess, a bunch of arcade modes and online, because that's all you get. There's not really a lot of features here. In terms of games, in terms of just having all these games in a convenient place, if you're into that, and that's cool. Uh, check it out, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow. Keep playing fighting games. Bye.